and hello everyone, welcome back to another video from Everything Sim. Today we're going to be playing a bit of Tram Simulator. Now this is in early access, it is in alpha I believe. So do expect low performance, bugs, things like that. And so the other driver who was uh, driving this has just got off and packed up his bits. He's left the door open for us, so we'll go ahead and get started. I must say it is in early access, however the game is very well done. Um, performance not so much, however with the uh, front door here, it's easy to see and when it opens, as you might see later on in the video, it sort of shudders a little bit as it opens, it's really well done um, all of the buttons are clickable, uh, save for a few but they will, in the final version, they will all be clickable and uh, as, about, as you're about to find out, the sounds as well are really nicely done as well um, they, they seem to have made it really authentic uh, along with the, like I was saying earlier, the buttons so you've actually got to set it up properly. It's not like this uh, train sim stuff where you got <laughs> you got to like a uh, press W, press A, and you're good to go. And it's all in German as well, so that's always fun. So it'll be testing my uh, German skills here. I think what we'll do is we'll move off from this ramp. That's let's be honest, it's blocking the uh, bus station. And move off from there, and then we'll set up the board computer. Parking brake still on it seems. I think that's what it is. Uh, there we are. That's gone off. There we are. set up here, I have to remember how this works. So put in the, we've just put in the number of the train, the tram. I've got to put in a code number. 2117 is the n name of the uh, tram. Oh no, it's my individual code, isn't it? Yeah, so our line is 2702, and we're going off to Zendling at all. Okie doke. I think what we'll do is we'll go into the menu, we'll try and... Did not mean to press that. Uh, there's this function where you can choose the announcements yourself, which I want to do. Uh, That's it. There we are. Right, let's move off to the first bus stop then. Tram stop even. I've been playing a bit too much at the bus recently. As you might be able to tell. We'll just turn down the sound a little bit there. We have released the doors. The front ones didn't seem to go. The green light on the dash that you can see there, and as it every time it turns on from the station, it goes. Bzz, and that is the what's called the green light, ironically, and it essentially symbolises the doors are.
so green light and off we go. Uh, to play this game ideally you need a good sort of a, a basic knowledge of the German trim signaling, uh, which is different to train signaling in Germany. I did briefly mention it in my bus I previously did. Um, so give that a check out if you would. I'll put that in the top right for you now. Link in the description of the two. in the traffic that runs by on the roads here so it will just be Tesla's Mercs and that you don't really see any buses going by anything sort of varied like you do in the bus which is a shame but like I say it's still an alpha and um, development just seems to be pretty slow that's all I forgot to mention too the K on the use of it stands for contact and uh, that means that it's sort of the light is recognised that I'm there waiting, so it will go. Whereas if there's no tram waiting at the light, it won't. It will just stay at a stop in a stop position. in this game. So pathfinding could be I mean come on. Cars don't want to move. That one despawned, there we are. Not sure if you can hear the wiper squeaking in the background there, that's pretty cool. So at the moment there is only currently one trap to choose from and that is this Admittedly nice looking, I think it's a three section tram uh, and it's an ultra low floor panel, whatever that means. Um, it's just quite low to the ground, though, so yeah. And then you do see them talking about Munich quite a bit. So, they've done, I mean, you know, we've only got one tram to choose from, but they've done it pretty well, so you can't really complain. You know, they could just knock out some really rather crappy tram with great textures. Um, you know, board computers that don't work. So it's done alright.
will probably be like one or two missions per episode. So go ahead and make sure you're subscribed with the notification bell on to make sure you get uh, notifications on when that comes out. On the top of that, I will be releasing another uh, the last video shortly, probably sooner than Wednesday, because it is currently Friday at the time of this. And this video will probably come out tomorrow, so Saturday then. Yeah, this is the exterior. It's done pretty nicely. Uh, you can see the pantograph up there ahead. Something that took me a while to get used to was how slow you've got to go around these corners. Um, I mean, I know trams are designed to go around these cor sort of corners that are fairly fast, but don't want to overdo it. Because another thing you might see in this video is after a corner, the front of the tram goes left and right on the tracks, even though the tracks are straight. Um, that's to do with the suspension I've heard. All the way to the train handles. Um, it can't really be corrected by the driver. We also have to see later if we get a wheelchair user on board, because then uh, I'll get to show you the ramp, which is pretty nicely done.
forgot to mention I actually changed the layout of my YouTube channel the other day um, and at the bottom I added good YouTube channels to check out um, do go and check them out when you get a chance if you can um, there's some really good YouTube channels on there such as um, helping with DaVinci Resolve and all of that which has really helped me improve my editing uh, go from what is side off like especially with the first trains of video I released that was quite amateur if you will um, no, I, wasn't, I wasn't doing voiceovers then or anything like that so yeah it's definitely improved and that's mainly because of the channel that will be down there so go check it out if you get a chance because um, if you're a content, content creator like myself you'll hopefully be able to learn a few tips um, and I've got to say if you use anything other than DaVinci Resolve you're sort of missing out I have tried other editing software like Adobe and all that they just don't really mount up to what DaVinci Resolve gives you for absolutely free I mean just to name a few you've got audio transitions, video transitions loads of titles, you can customise where everything is, you can you know, upscale your videos, colour grade them, it's amazing um, so do go and use DaVinci Resolve if you can because I couldn't recommend it enough really though I am required to say this video is not sponsored by DaVinci Resolve um, I just particularly like them, that's all subscribing uh, and leaving a like on the video it really does help out. I did recently put out a um, well, my first short YouTube short, um, so that will probably be at the top right now. So if you want to check that out, um, but yeah, YouTube are currently pushing out their shorts quite a bit because they're trying to compete with TikTok. Um, I'd certainly say that YouTube have the platform to do that. Certainly have enough like viewers, a viewer base and all that, so it's totally doable. We just need enough creators to make YouTube shorts, and it's, you know, it seems to be going pretty well. I mean, at the start of YouTube shorts, what's that lady doing? <laughs> yeah, when YouTube shorts was first rolled out, um, I'm not gonna lie, they were pretty crap. There wasn't a lot of content on there, and if it was, it was made by nine year olds. Um, but there's some pretty good content on there now for all sorts. as I mentioned DaVinci Resolve the, the, the short I re released the other day is actually on DaVinci Resolve it's the behind the scenes so if you do want to check that out like I said I'll have put that in the top right earlier on when I said about it
because of the no parking sign or whatever it was back there. Uh, it generally hides the traffic light from where you're coming up, so yeah, I do tend to miss the set of lights quite a lot. But I didn't today, which is lucky. that's for sure but um, what they've got to build upon is really great um, so I'm really looking forward to seeing the final version of this game um, all I can really wish for for this game at the moment is serious performance up updates bug fixes and a bit more diversity with the routes and the tram selection and the AI as well that could do a little bit of a revamp but other than that the physics they got going um, the vehicle models they're all really really good so I'm really excited to see what the future holds for this game.
but yeah, the root length is pretty good. I think there is the option as well to be able to get out the cab and change the switches manually. Um, I don't think that's like very realistic. I don't think that's what happens in real life. Real life. Uh, I think switches are changed automatically, electronically, should I say. Uh, so I switched that off as well. But yeah, we'll go ahead and open up the doors, let everyone off. I think that's everyone. We're going left towards the wards, back around to the station, um, and then we'll terminate there. Turn off the train and everything. Just gotta wait for these set of lights to let us go. Let's start shutting down the train or tram. Um, how is it we put the destination display? There we are. So we'll turn the destination display off. So we've no longer got any destinations. We've got the stop brake on. We'll just have to turn off the electricity in a minute. Uh, right. So all of that lighting can come off. Uh, no, that goes to off. That goes to. Uh, I think that's off. Parking brake on. Um, put the reverser into neutral. Remove the rever reverser key. And we'll get ready to turn off the electricity, but we need to open up the front door first. There we are. And turn off the wiper. There we are. So we'll turn off all the electricity. And there we are. There we have it. So that is the route from the line 27 all done. So if you did like the video, make sure to leave it a like and subscribe and turn on the notification bell to get notifications on new videos that come out. It really helps out with the channel. It really helps out with growing. So uh, make sure you do that if you would like to. Anyway, I'll catch you guys in another video. Take care.